Okay, so we bought this new LCR meter and it comes with four wire Kelvin clips, but they're a little bit short and they don't work well for um, these capacitors right here and a few other components. I just like them a little bit longer. So what we did was we bought some inexpensive four wire Kelvin clips on Amazon. Now I've read some reviews that some of them aren't wired properly. They're not separated top half, bottom half into the actual four wire that they're soldered together here. And then I've also read that some of the grounds are also attached in here. So we're just going to verify that real quick with a meter on ohms before we actually wire them in. And we bought an extra, went ahead and bought an extra one of these TL21s. That way I can save the original and then we'll just, we'll wire whichever set we like better into here. Okay, so looking at this capacitor, you can see these, these really don't get on there very well. So we bought both these sets. We weren't really sure which one would work better. I thought these might, but they they actually, they're not going to get on there very well either. That, that's going to pop off. Um, kind of do. I'm not sure how much I like that. Um, I do like these uh, alligator clips though, just maybe not for this application. So then we may, we may end up just using these. I don't know. That's probably what we'll do. We'll test them both out, but we'll probably wire these into here. One thing I should note, and we'll look at it closer when we disassemble this, is um, the four wire leads do come together on the same bottom half of this and aren't actually separated on this. So for super precise measurements, that may be a small factor. I don't think it's going to affect us any. I just wanted these longer for the most part. Um, but if these are actual true wire, true four wire, they should be a little bit more precise. Okay, in order to verify that these two wires are separate the whole way, separate to a top half and a bottom half, we'll use an ohm meter. We'll separate these and then just ohm out each one. And you can see you can't really get in there very well with the meter, so we'll use the help of a Pomona panel jack. So Ryan, just go ahead and stick one on each one of those. So now that it's open and separated, we shouldn't have any continuity between the two. If we do, it's because they are actually soldered together here, which it's not really the end of the world for us. Uh, for super precise measurements, it kind of is. Some people will be uptight. Um, but considering these are inexpensive $20 leads, it wouldn't make me terribly upset. But they are advertised as true four wires, so let's see if they really are. To do that, Go ahead and throw the alligator clips on that. Close the shrouds on those fluke leads. And then just, we're set up on ohms already. Just go ahead and clip to each side. Okay, you see we're still reading it open. So they are true four wire. Once he removes that clip, we should read a dead short. And we do. And if this was a relay at work, I would toggle it several times. But it's not, so we can trust that. Okay, so right now we do know that um, it is a true four wire. Just for the heck of it, um, let's find out if that gray does correlate with that gray. In order to do that, throw your clip back in, your uh, poker chip. And now we'll leave the black lead on here. Let's just ohm out to the, the top and the bottom and see which one ohms out. Okay, so it ohms out to the bottom. Let's go to the top. And it doesn't. Okay, so unless it's just coincidence, the, the gray does correlate with the, the gray on the bottom. So that one checks out. We'll just do a quick check of this one. Make sure everything's good on it. Just do the same thing. Pull the jacks out. Throw them in there. 
Okay, so we do read a short and we do read an open. Okay, so let's check again and see if that gray does correlate with that one. So throw a, a chip in to separate them. And it looks like it does go to the top. Cool. Okay, so these are $20 Kelvin clips, and honestly, I'm kind of happy with the quality. The uh, the leads feel good. The silicone on them feels good. The uh, It's not a bad quality at all for the money spent for the house. If you're using them at work or whatnot, you should always buy the, the top quality, but for the house, these will be fine. All right, so we're happy with those. Let's now, the concern is with these, what I'm most concerned about is that ground. Let's go ahead and, un we unscrewed that. Let's take a look at this. So you can see the shield is folded back over and pinned to this. So it should ohm out to this casing. Go ahead and do that, Ryan. Get the clips off. And let's check. Uh, actually, you can leave one uh, clip on. Clip right here. And then just see if you ohm out there, which you should. Okay, so the shield is attached to that like it should be. Now this is the, uh, which one is that? Is that the black one? Yeah, that's the black one. So now what I'm curious to find out, does that shield, is it connected inside here? I don't really want to cut this heat shrink open if I don't have to. So just go ahead and... Uh, Let's put the meter lead in there and see what we read. Okay, so it's not. The shield is separated, so that's good. Um, the next test we want to do is we want to make sure that both of these are actually separate from both of these. So throw a poker chip in the middle of those. Should read open. And it does, so if we can pull that poker chip out, we should read a short, and we do. Okay, so that one reads out good, too. These are electrically isolated from each other. The top goes to one side, the bottom goes to the other. It's a true four-wire, and the shield is not connected in here. So, let's just take out, chest out the uh, red one. And then we'll know that these are good, and then we'll go ahead and take this apart. And we can see it's it's open, so the shield is not connected to either one of these. Keep that right there, and I'll just move over to the other one. Same thing. Okay, so we're good on that, so just throw a poker chip between them. Okay, so they are separate. Now let's see if we have a short. And we do. So we know they're good. Alright, cool. So that's money well spent then question is which one do we want to wire up here it's probably going to be this set and then what I may do is actually I don't think they would all fit but it would be kind of cool to attach these in here so I could plug different ones in for true four wire if you don't want four wire you can just use your regular leads like this and then put you know different accessories on the end like alligator clips which I believe for all our measurements is going to be fine mainly I want this for uh, capacitors and to do some motor test um, the motor test I may actually want the four wire for low ohms and uh, inductance but for the capacitor I don't really believe I need that um, I just want to know the ESR maybe the dissipation factor that's that's about it I don't really think we need true four wire for any of that um, but it doesn't hurt to have it, like I said, for the motors and whatnot. So I would like to, instead of just putting my fluke leads in here, I would like to have some different options here and it would be cool to, to plug them into a true four wire. Cause they make these same thing with this style plug. As a matter of fact, we just ordered a set today. 